There are some advantages and disadvantages to working for yourself and being your own boss, even right now. What do you think you're doing? I'm going home. They told us to go on lockdown. You know, coronavirus, haven't you heard? You think I care about the coronavirus? You need to be making money. I don't care if you work here in the office. I don't care if you work from home, but you need to be making that money. You need to be on your grind. I don't care. But don't I get some paid time off, sick leave, vacation maybe? You don't get vacation. Your life is a vacation, okay? You don't get vacation. You don't get paid vacation. You don't get paid sick leave. You work for me 24 seven, okay? Now work, go home. Hi, welcome to one of my offices. That was awkward. Hello and welcome to one of my many offices. This is actually my living room and this is where I've been doing most of my work during this quarantine. Um, I already worked remotely so I already was able to work at home before quarantine started but normally I work in my office or in a cafe so this has still been weird for me too. Today to be honest I didn't really feel like filming this video. I've actually been feeling very low energy the past few days. been feeling sip some coffee. I've been feeling low motivation. I don't feel like making this video today, but this is a video I've been wanting to make for a long time. And really there's no better day to make a video about being your own boss than on a day when you are struggling to have the motivation because that is more times than I would like to admit as a self-employed entrepreneur. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the business that I started and how it's successful even now, even during these days and uh, what it's like to be my own boss. So I hope you enjoy. So my YouTube channel is relatively new and not a lot of you know what I do for work. Actually, even a lot of people that know me don't really know what I do for work. I tell people that I'm a graphic designer, but that's not really what I do. It is what I do as a service, but my entire business is a little bit more than just graphic design. So today I'm gonna to be filling in some of those gaps for those of you who know me and for those of you who don't know me. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany. And so I'll just get into it. I actually wrote an elevator pitch that I still haven't memorized. I wrote it in October. My media production company produces digital content to promote self-improvement over different areas of life, such as business, mindset, spirituality, and more. It was a little bit long, but that was actually a 25 word elevator pitch, which some people suggest. And it doesn't really explain what I do, that's supposed, the elevator pitch is supposed to get people interested in what you do and ask you like, how do you promote self-improvement in these areas? Like, what is it that you're doing? The how that I do this, just to not leave you in suspense, is I work with different coaches in all kinds of different categories, business coaches, life coaches, spirituality coaches, and mentors across all different fields. And I help them produce the content that they're going to give or sell to their clients to help them with their coaching situation. I've also worked with therapists. I've also worked with people in the medical field. Um, and I get to learn a lot about all these different fields, which is really fun. So the kinds of content that I produce is PDF documents, slideshow, PowerPoints, and things like that, and also some videos. So I started this business about a year and a half ago. Um, it was about January of 2019 that I officially launched the business, and it didn't exactly go in the direction that I expected it to go. I made this website, I made these packages and these prices and all these things that I wanted to sell, like if you want a video, if you want an ebook, if you want a PowerPoint or something. But I actually learned a lot since then, like what people really want, what people are willing to pay. I've raised my prices like pretty much consistently since I started and figuring out that kind of supply and demand price point. I've had an overwhelming number of customers coming to me and so my business has been evolving to actually like most businesses want like more customers i want less customers paying a higher price point my business has evolved a lot since i started and like another service that i didn't know i was going to be doing now which has gotten a lot more popular especially during quarantine 
is I started charging for Zoom consultation calls with me so that people could get more intentional and strategic about what content they wanted to put out. These are people that may end up working with me or may end up doing things themselves. So I just charge for the call. I charge $50 for a half hour call with me or $100 an hour. And I wanted to give you guys that price point as an example because for my other services, the prices vary depending on what people want. And, but for the calls, that's what I have been charging like on an hourly. Normally I don't charge hourly, I charge per project. So not only do I work for myself, but I also have hired three people since I started this business. Only one of them still works for me now because I had like a really busy few months last year and I brought on these three girls to help me out with different things. I had a video editor, a graphic designer, and a copywriter. And so they were all working for me, um, not full-time, but part-time. And then today I still have the graphic designer working for me. And um, that's been really interesting because I never saw myself as being someone else's boss and having some people working for me. I just really would have been happy to work for myself and work online and do these services myself. But I had so much demand that I really had no choice. I could either like turn away a bunch of people or I could share the work with other people and I knew there were people uh, in my community who needed and would love remote work. So I was really happy to do that. So here's a funny story. When I was younger, my dad apparently told me, Brittany, one day you're gonna be someone's boss and my dad talks to me like that. He's very uplifting and encouraging uh, entrepreneurially and otherwise. And so I said, Dad, I don't want to be someone's boss. And he goes, why? And he said, because that's mean. I don't want to boss someone around. And he goes, no, no, no. You don't have to be a mean boss. You can be a nice boss. And then I guess that stuck with me. Like, I don't remember that conversation, but it definitely sounds like something that I would have said. Because like I said, I never wanted to um, run a big company. Um, I'm just like happy that I get to work from anywhere I want like that's really the goal for me now I'm gonna tell you how I get my clients because that was also something I didn't foresee being this way Like I made a website, but I also made a profile on this website called Fiverr.com and this is a website where anyone can really post any kind of service that they're willing to do online and People can find you through their platform and hire you directly Fiverr has been astronomically essential for this business. I My profile really took off on Fiverr and I get messages every single day of people wanting my services. And I just also wanna say if you do end up making a profile on Fiverr and you go to the website and you actually look around at everything that people are offering, you might get overwhelmed and think that wow, how can I stand on in this platform when there's already thousands of people that are doing what I would like to be doing and doing it better with more reviews and all that stuff. But that's a false idea because there's actually so much, um, there's so much room in the marketplace for new people doing creative things in different ways and don't let it stop you that there are a lot of people. So if you are interested in learning more about how to start your own online service business, I am coming out with a free four part training series that goes into more detail about how you can set this up for yourself. And I'm really looking forward to showing you that. I'm still working on it right now, but whenever it's posted, I'll put the link in the description of this video too. And you should definitely check that out if you're interested in having your own online business like me. It's not something that happens overnight or is really easy, but it's definitely doable for pretty much anybody. And I will show you how that's possible and why I think it's possible for anyone to do it. And I realize, especially now with the instability that's going on in our economy, it is really important to have different options of how you can make money. Like all successful people will agree that you should have multiple streams of income. And so maybe your job is one of them, but um, it's also good to have an online side hustle. My roommate is now on Fiverr and she's been doing different projects. She's been doing video editing and voiceover work. So I'm really proud of her for that. And I've inspired a few of my friends to get on there and start making money too. And my roommate, by the way, made this coffee cup. Isn't it so cute? I love it. She's so creative. So I have really been wanting to make this video for so long and tell you guys what I do. And today really did not feel like the day. Like I said, I've been feeling really low energy, but I do always want to give you guys a full picture of what my life is like, not just showing you all the best things that happened to me or all the successes that I might experience, but also showing you the reality behind 
being your own boss and how it's not just glamorous every single day. It's not just travel and co-working spaces and all that fun. It is also not feeling like getting out of bed some mornings. There are always ups and downs like anything in life and even more so when everything is up to you. You don't have the security of a big group of people collectively making decisions and taking responsibilities. It's literally all on me. And that can be a lot of pressure sometimes. Um, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. I always think, do I want to get a job? Nah, no, no way. Never again, honestly. I just don't like it. No. Anyway. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed hearing about my story. And if you are interested in learning more or if secretly or not so secretly, you also want to start your own online service business, I am going to be offering a free four part training series here on my YouTube channel to go into more detail about how you can also start your own online service business. I think it's not easy, but it's definitely possible for people who really want to do that. Um, I believe that everybody does have a skill that they can leverage for income online. Um, so it's all about knowing what you have to offer and then leveraging it in a profitable way. So I'm going to be talking all about that in my next videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos about travel, entrepreneurship, and living your best life in general. Even though it might not feel like your best life every single day, I just have to say that so I'm not pretending I'm in some Instagram bubble. No, it's uh, it's been, I'm ready to like get out of my house, you know, I'm ready. Well, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.